I'm Mr. Swerb with the Cardboard Jungle checking in. Three minutes, three winners, week four of the NFL slate. We're 5-3-1 and one on the year. Two of the losses, though, by half a point. So a great start to the year for us. Let's try to keep it going here in week four with our top three winners. We're going to start across the pond in London and go with the Jacksonville Jaguars laying three to the Atlanta Falcons. And what is a home game for the Jaguars the Jags are just, I love this spot for them. They've played in London every year since 2013. Doug Peterson got a win there as the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. Favorites in London games over the years are 29 and 9, 25 and 14 against the spread. Also a tough spot for the Falcons. Tough road game in Detroit last week coming right across the pond for this game in London against the Jags team to get to settle in there for 2 weeks. For two games, and I just I like this as a reset spot for a Jags team. I'm not as high on as most were before the season, but I like them in this spot. They get the win week one narrowly against the Colts, come home for two games, score nine points and 17 points against the Chiefs and the Texans in their first two home games, both losses. So a lot of comments from Peterson just and the players really looking to kind of reset, get on track here in London. I like them to do that against the Falcons. Jaguars, minus three. Pick number two, we're going back once again to the Pittsburgh Steeler well. Minus two and a half at Houston. Listen, this is what Mike Tomlin does. He beats shitty teams on the road en route to nine wins every year. I see this as being one of the nine wins for Tomlin and the Steelers this season. Jags coming off the first win for D'Amico Ryans, dumping Gatorade on him. So uh, the letdown spot here and a tough spot, I think, for C.J. Stroud, who I love. He's looked great, but uh, through three weeks, no interceptions, has thrown for over 900 yards. This week, the Steelers come to town. Uh, Houston missing most of their offensive line still, including this week, Pro Bowl left tackle Laramie Tunsil. So J.J. Watt should just feast this week. The Steelers have great pass rushers, great DBs. I just think this is a come-down game for Stroud and the Texans, and the Steelers find a way to get it done on the road. Pickett in the offense got going a little bit last week. I still am not in love with that offense, but uh, I think, again, they have enough to get it done this week in Houston. Pick number three, the Las Vegas Raiders, plus five and a half at the L.A. Chargers. Why the hell are the Chargers giving five and a half to anybody? They're a Kirk Cousins interception away from being 0-3. Uh, the Chargers in the Herbert Staley here are 9-15 and 15 against the spread when laying more than three points. Their defense sucks. They've given up 36, 27, and then 24 last week. Could have been more if the Vikings could have cashed in late. So it, to me, it doesn't matter who the Raiders have at quarterback this week. If it's Jimmy G, if it's Hoyer, if it's O'Connell, all are competent. Adams and Myers have looked like one of the best receiver duos through three weeks. Josh Jacobs should feast this week. The Chargers, Mike Williams out for the year. Already not a plethora of receiving options for Herbert. And uh, Austin Eckler unlikely to play as well. So this week's three picks going with the Jacksonville Jaguars minus three in London versus Atlanta. The Pittsburgh Steelers minus two and a half at Houston in the Vegas Raiders plus five and a half at the LA Chargers. We will check in next Friday with our top three winners. Good luck to everybody this week in all your gambling endeavors. Take care, everyone.